Hey everyone, welcome back. It's time for the next episode of Stonewall Sword, Valley Vengeance scenario. So let's start by cleaning up from last turn. So we will um, end turn, move broken units one on the broken display, remove artillery, fire markers, reset commands, reset move markers. And uh, we will start by building our check cup. Let's take a look at the broken track, see what's there. Oh, it's all Union troops. Um, so, not not great news for the Union so far, uh, especially with Jackson coming out of his reverie. Um, but we'll see what we'll see what happens. Um, so let's start by building the cup. And uh, we'll put the event shits in the cup. And CSA will draw Rebel Yell. And USA will draw Firefight. Uh, we'll exclude two events for each side. And then we will refill the cup. And now we're ready for some artillery. So fortunately, uh, things have, units have kind of uh, moved up. Um, so, we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's fire at this 10. Uh, it's in effective range. So it'll be 12 shifted once for firing over our units. So 15. Um, no luck. All right, here we will fire at these guys. Um, 65, well. Um, so I, I figured this out, this is four. Uh, 65 on the 4. It's going to be an easy test, so they deplete. And they route 1 space. I guess this is the more intellectually honest space. Okay. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. So fifty one on the nine. Okay, so they deplete, they get a morale hit, and they route two spaces. So good, good firing from the Union. All right, let's see, one, two, three. All right, uh, four, 33. Uh, yeah. uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, one to four, uh, so they are completely fine. Okay, um, let's go one, two, three, four, five. Um, no luck, and then last unit to fire. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, uh, 
uh, so we can't shoot at them, but we could shoot at them for nine. So this is halved. Ooh, so 61 on the three. That is a two to four. So um, they will take a morale hit and route two spaces. Alright, so now it is time for chits. So first up is the jack- oh, forgot to put these in. We'll keep Jackson out, that's fine. Uh, fortunes of War. Next chit pulled is disregarded. Uh, Rebel Yell. <laughs> okay, uh, so then we have Banks. Um, Let's play the Jackson shit, and let's activate Ronald. So first we'll do fire, and we will concentrate fire on the Pennsylvanians. So 52 on the 17. It's gonna be a medium test. Uh, and they are completely fine. Should say they are under attack orders, if that wasn't clear. Um, so then we'll move here. Secure the objective. Um, do we want to... Close combat? Nope. Um, let's go one, two... Three. Do we want a close combat? No. Here's the reason why. We have our VP hex. Let's just sit on it. We don't want to invite retaliation. Uh, Jackson's rusty sword. So who... Let's take the cohesion hit off of the artillery. And, well, actually, let's make sure that we can play Jackson's Rusty Sword on Artillery. And we can move them to MPs so he can put them right back where they were. Pretty good. Alright, Firefight. Well, let's do a firefight here. All right, so fifty two. It's supposed to be a routine test, and they're totally fine. No worries. Auger. Alright, let's do an attack order, or er, actually we might do, yeah, we'll do an attack order. So first off, fire combat, these two against Thomas, uh, 12, we rolled a 14, not going to cut it. Um, then we'll move. One, two, three, four. Uh, this this hex will do close combat. We'll just go mano e mano. So eight defensive fire. They roll a sixty-four because of course. 
Um, they are in a cornfield, so that's shifted. Alright, so it's yellow. Ooh, we get the snake eye result. Uh, so they're good. So then it is close combat. So we have a 6 and we rolled a 46. So that is a normal break test routine. So deplete. And so this one depletes, and they both route two spaces. And we will move up. And uh, let's play Banks again, and we will activate Prince again. And uh, first off, we'll fire. So we'll go 6, 10, 16 against this unit here so 16 and we are shifted twice for converging fire so we're at 20 slash 20 to 22 so we get a 43 on the 20 to 22 and this will be a medium test uh, and that is a one five so that's a morale hit and they route two all right so that is a total of eight um, and then these two 12 shifted one to the left it's 10 to 11 65. Um, that is a severe result. So they deplete. They take a break test. So they get a morale hit. And then they route three. One, two, three. All right, and then movement. One, two, three, four, one, or just three. One, okay, so then close combat. This will be the primary unit. These two will flank. All right, so defensive fire. 53 against the six, or on the 10, we rolled a 53. So it's a normal test. So they deplete and they route one. Um, Okay, so the close combat still continues, so it's 10 to 10, so 1 to 1. Um, and let's roll. Uh, so 10, and we rolled a 54. So that is a medium test. So they get a morale hit and they route two one two so they will advance there um all right 
These units will close combat here, and these units will close combat the artillery. So defensive fire from these guys. So 35 on the six, uh, no go. So then six, close combat, 15, no go. All right, so three, um, so four, 62 on the four is a light or uh, routine test. So they deplete, but they do not retreat. So they are at a one to one. Um, we have four, one, two, three, four for going up against artillery, so we're on the eight to nine. Four to six, four to six on the eight to nine, so that is two to five. Um, so routine close combat test, uh, deplete, and then route two. Do I want to take it? Yes, I do. So our victory points, will I probably get knocked off it? Yeah. Um, but I'm going to make them come get me. Okay, that was a pretty good run for the Union. Um, let's see, Winder. Alright, limited activation, it's got to be Ronald. Um, so let's do two fires. So we'll do strength of 10 against Crawford. No. And then strength of 14 against Gordon. Uh, no. Command confusion. So we'll hold that. Winder again. Uh, no, let's go with Taliaferro. Okay. Confident. We'll hold that. Yule. Okay. So first off, we will fire. And... Let's fire at Prince first with this guy. Uh, well, that is going to be a routine test, uh, which they pass. <laughs> uh, pretty funny. Um, and then here, we'll fire at these guys. Uh, 24. And it's going to be nothing. All right, these guys can fire on the two. 54 on the two is good enough for a routine test. Uh, wait, no. They're not firing at a two, they're firing at a one. So 54 on the one is still a one to two, so it's still a routine test. So uh, four. Um, so route two, so fortunately they do have to route off of it. All right, so one, two, one, two. Okay. Close combat. No, probably not. Uh, Rebel Yell. Let's hold on to that for the moment. Rebel Fatigue. 
auger. All right. So we have Geary, uh, and we will do attack orders. Um, the rebels will play command confusion. Uh, so we rolled a five, which is different order than originally announced as determined by the Confederates. Um, They will be under maneuver. That way they're not allowed to fire. So we'll go, we'll just go, uh, there's fine. Yeah. We'll put them there. Auger again, and limited activation. There goes green. Uh, roll die on the fog of war table. Six, which is another possible Confederate general casualty. Uh, so we roll a four. Uh, so it's our friend Winder. So Winder has recovered. Um, good for him. Uh, must have been a flesh wound. Um, brigade reserve movement. We'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three. All right. Winder. Uh, limited activation for Garnet. Hill. Uh, five. So we will go with Branch and Union will play Rebel Fatigue. Uh, so one of them breaks and who decides? Confederate player. I mean, they're literally all the same, so I guess we'll just do the one furthest. So we'll go uh, attack orders. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay. Firefight. You betcha. All right, so we're going to pick on Geary here. Uh, no, that didn't cut it. Rebel Fatigue. Hill. All right, so we'll do Pender and we'll play rebel fatigue so we're going to put them under maneuver orders and we'll roll to see if any of them break and one of them does so one two three one two three This one here. Boof. 
No. So then movement. One. Well, actually, we'll just go there. And then we'll remove that. So that is Williams. Hill. All right, Archer. And Archer will be under maneuver orders. So let's go one, two, three. Um, actually, we'll go one, two, three. Four, five, six. We'll do that. Gordon's turn. All right, so we're going to do attack. So we'll go 10. We'll do fire. We'll go 10. Okay. So 10 shifted twice. Uh, we're looking at 44. Okay. Routine test. Uh, no deplete, but they do route one. And then we'll go uh, movement. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do we want to do close combat? No, we do not. Okay, that is another turn in the books, so we'll just move it to turn 10. Second to last turn, Union has two victory points, and we will reset everything, and if we look at the broken track, our first unit is eligible to be rebuilt. Alright, so thanks for watching. This is Mike, and we'll be back soon.